Hey guys, this is Isaac from Contender Bicycles and this is our trail bike guide. The trail bike category is usually falls between the rough travel estimates between 130 and 150 millimeters of rear travel. This is the category that most mountain bikers will find themselves in. Mountain bikers will traditionally want a bike that can kind of do anything, but not is really specified for one scenario, which is what trail bikes are meant for. They may not be the best thing for an enduro race or a long cross country day, but they can do it is the point. Trail bikes are something that can kind of fit every scenario and that's what they're meant for. When you look between a couple different companies, trail bikes, they're kind of hard to differentiate. They all have very, very similar travel, head angles, they all have similar reaches, and it's kind of hard to figure out which one might suit you best. And while all the bikes we have in front of us today, the Santa Cruz Hightower, the Orbea Occam, the Score 4060 ST, and the Scott Genius are all very, very similar bikes. Here's why you might one, want one over the other for your personal ride style and needs. The Santa Cruz Hightower will fit a mountain biker who is kind of based around simple. The Santa Cruz Hightower has lifetime bedding replacement. It has got very, very simple parts and geometry, and it is very easy to work on. There's almost nothing proprietary on the bike. And while that may lack some of the special that other bikes can give to you, for a lot of mountain bikers, that's just what they want. They want a bike that's easy to work on, easy to know, and easy to fall in love with. The Hightower has a glove box, which also lets you have plenty of frame storage, whatever knickknacks or life-saving things you might put in your frame during a ride. And it also has the VPP suspension linkage system, which drives home 145 millimeters of rear travel linked with a 150 millimeters of travel on the fork. The VPP suspension design holds very, very well lines in the descending and it has got great traction. The Santa Cruz Hightower in a medium has a 452 millimeter reach and a 64 and a half degree head angle. An alternative to the high tower in Santa Cruz's lineup is the Bronson, carrying the same reach and head angle numbers. It's a very similar bike, but the main difference just being the fact that this one has a 27.5 rear wheel, giving it a mullet setup, meaning it's a little bit snappier in the rear end, but not quite as fast in the straights, if that is something that interests you. The Urbea Occam is awesome for anybody who likes to be super maneuverable and flicking in the descents. In a size medium, it has a 446 millimeter reach and a 65.5 degree head angle. This means that this bike is a little bit shorter and steeper than a lot of the other bikes we have here today. But due to that, it is super maneuverable and incredibly snappy and fun. The Orbea Occam itself is also incredibly easy to personalize using Orbea's Myo program. That lets you choose out the color you want your bike painted in and might even let you add some text to the rear triangle of the frame. This bike is also super versatile using 140 millimeters of travel front and rear or being able to spec it with 150 millimeter on the fork from the factory. You can also spec it with an air or a coil shock from the factory, which is really awesome because almost none of our other companies do that, which means that this is probably one of the most versatile bikes you can get your hands on. It's a really, really great bike. This is the 4060 ST or short travel. This is developed by a company called Score, who is a newer company. They, within the last year and a half, they are a sister company to BMC. The Score itself is a brand built around fun, which means that this bike is extremely fun to ride and it, there is a reason for that. In a size medium, it has a 461 millimeter reach and a 65.5 degree head angle. While this may not be the fastest bike down the race course, it's certainly gonna put a smile on your face while doing so. It's gonna be extremely poppy and maneuverable and fun in any scenario, and it is definitely a brand built for the people. They're specced extremely well using high-end suspension and brakes while using more of a mid-range drivetrain, so to kind of put the bike's price where it matters and not so much and where other people might look. And then it also uses frame storage where they give you an extra derailleur hanger and a storage compartment located underneath the bottom bracket. The Scott Genius kind of looks futuristic to a lot of people, employing things like an internal rear shock, a one-piece integrated bar stem combo, and internal cabling through the headset. has plenty of things on it that is not included in some of the simpler bikes here, but for a lot of people can really stand out. It makes this bike look super, super clean and futuristic, and it gives a very, very great looking bike. It also employs the twin lock system, which locks out the fork and the rear shock at the same time. So at, you can either lock it out fully and have no rebound at all, or you can have a halfway mode, which cuts down on travel and also and cuts down on your compression. That is called traction mode by Scott. 
The Scott Genius itself in a size medium has a 65.1 degree head angle and a 460 millimeter long reach. That means this bike is quite a bit longer than some of the other trail bikes that we have shown here. It is also 150 millimeters in the rear and 160 millimeters of travel in the fork, which means that this bike might descend a little bit faster than some of the other bikes we have shown here today, but climbing with it and trying to edge it around those tight corners on the climbs may be a little bit harder, but in a straightaway, this thing will definitely fly. Briefly, we will mention there's also a Genius ST, which stands for Super Trail. It is based off the same frame and travel numbers. The only difference really being is it gets a knobbier front tire. It loses a lockout on the fork, so you just have a normal fork. And then there is a headset cup that is turned to slacken out the head angle. So in a medium, it gets slackened out to 63.9 degrees, which is almost nearing enduro bike range, but it still retains all the same reach numbers and component specs off of that. Well, hopefully this answered some of your questions about trail bikes. And if you have any more questions, feel free to go to our website, contenderbicycles.com, or visit us in store in Salt Lake City or in Park City. Thank you for watching.